what is going on guys there's your boy tropical habs back here today for our brand new youtube video today we're here to talk about the montreal canadians and we're here to talk about some players that are untradeable in my opinion and why am i talking about this it's because yesterday i made a video talking about your eyes of kofsky and how um i think that he's been not used properly i think he deserves better i think he deserves more opportunity if you haven't watched this video I invite you guys to watch to go watch it it's my game review from yesterday's games between the calgary flames and the montreal canadians i went off to protect our boy your isofkowski and yeah i invite you guys to go watch a video before watching this because yeah i got a lot of twitter twitter dms by the way if you're not following me on twitter i suggest you to follow me um I make live reaction tweets about games. I talked up with some people uh, that follows me about the Habs. If you want to DM me, I, I answer all the DMs. So, yeah, I suggest you to go follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. So, yeah, I received a lot of DMs on Twitter. A lot of comments were talking about this. I saw a lot of people um, answering my tweets saying, oh, bro, but like blah, blah, blah. Uh, basically, in that video, I complained about Joel Armia and Yevgeny Dodonov and all of those guys being used instead of your Isofkovsky and some power play opportunities in three on three and overtime and all of that. Now, I think with all of all of Sofkovsky's development so far, um, how he's become more and more confident, he's getting into another level, in my opinion. The fact that they're still using Joel Armia and Yevgeny Dodonov in front of him in critical situations makes me sick to the stomach because um Sofkovsky deserves that ice time. We are in a development season. We are not going to win the Stanley Cup. And they should take those opportunities to make Slavkovsky learn from those situations. Because if you're not going to make him learn right now in those situations, he's going to learn it when we are going to start being competitive again. And I'd rather see him learn from those situations right now since we're not going to make the playoffs anyways. And there have been some people saying in the comments below, oh, but like Slavkovsky... Um, He's just 18. It's it's not like he's going to be here for a long time. Joel Armia and Dodonov are, are going to get traded. They're just gonna they're just trying to get their value up. They're gonna get traded for some prospect. Um and what world are you living in? That's my question, man. Because no matter how much ice time Joel Armia and Yevgeny Dodonov are getting. They are not putting up points. They are making mistakes and they are playing poorly. So um, I don't know about you guys, but if I'm another team, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, there's no way I'm trading for one of those guys. There's no way I'm trading a seventh round pick, a first round pick, a second, a third, a fourth, or even a bag of Doritos for one of those guys. And for, to, for, for some people to go in my comments and say, but they're trying to trade them. They're trying to trade them. Even if they play 36 minutes a night, they're not getting the points. And when you're not getting the points, you're not a tradable player. And if they're not only not making any points, they're making some mistakes. Yevgeny Dodonov can't even make a pass properly. Some legit Pee B type of plays that he's missing. Joel Armia can't finish a shot for a, for, for a living. He can't score a goal for a living. And both of those players are overpaid as hell. My question is, right now, if the Canadians are competitive, would you guys trade a guy like Riley Kidney for Milan Lucic? Milan Lucic was an LT scratch last game. Why? Because he hasn't been performing well. Nobody would want to trade for Milan Lucic because he's overpaid and he hasn't been performing. Would you guys be ready to trade Owen back for Milan Lucic? No. Well, it's the same thing for the other teams. The Calgary Flames will not want to trade Jacob Pelletier for a guy like Joel Armia. There's no team in the NHL that would want to trade a draft pick for a guy like Joel Armia, who's overpaid and that's not producing at all. Stop saying, but they're playing him instead of Slavkovsky because they want to trade him. No, they can't trade him because he's not performing. And even if you give him all the ice time in the world, and it's it's, it's been proven already, he's not performing anyways. They've been giving all the ice time, all the chances in the world to be performing, but they are not performing. When that happens, you need to get them out the lineup and play the young guys instead. 
Because you're not going to be able to trade them anyway, no matter how much ice time you give them, because they are not performing. And they're giving a bad example to the young guys in the team. Look at the Maple Leafs back then. Jeffrey Lupul and all of those guys were playing absolutely terrible. At first, they wanted to trade them away, but since they were not performing, they sent them to the AHL, and we never heard about them ever again. Uh, I think that's what the Canadians needs to do. They need to focus on development first over trying to get the value of the players up. Because even if they're playing half the game, they're not going to get their value up because they're not performing and they are overpaid. So better off developing the young guys, better off trying to get them into a situation when they, care, when they can learn. That's my opinion. And stop saying it's because they want to trade them. They're not going to be able to trade them anyways because they're not performing. All right. So, yeah, let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Tropical Habs, and I'll see y'all later for another video. Have a nice rest of your day, and bye-bye. <laughs>